So the sharding on near protocol is actually different than what maybe you've heard of Ethereum 2.0 or other type of sharding systems. Near Nightshade, which is their sharding design, is really, instead of having these mini blocks that are controlled and essentially directed by their beacon chain, Nightshade is really about having the entire system as one single blockchain, which makes it more efficient and easier for developers to build on. Nightshade actually does this by taking each block on the chain and taking those blocks into chunks. And all a chunk really is, is a subsection of the list of all the transactions in the block. So if I have a block, okay, within that block, I'm going to have multiple chunks. And so I could have chunk one, chunk two, so on and so forth. And as I go through over time, right, and I have, here's another block, and here's another block, they're all going to have chunks. And what's great about this is that in each of those chunks, you're going to have all of the different transactions. So it's that one chunk. Okay, so here's my chunk per shard. Okay, so in, in, in that sharded design, so we're going to have just in that shard, we're going to have one block and one chunk that is then part of one block. Okay, and so what makes that easy then is that you're not worried about different parts, different chunks being on different shards. It's all together, and then it, it is all part of each individual block. So what it starts to actually look like, so instead now what it looks like is my beacon chain has these blocks, okay? And within each, again, block, there is my chunks. And so all of these chunks, we'll, we'll draw the chunks in here this time. So everything is moving together across. And so it makes it really simple for, again, for looking at the different transactions of what's actually happening. So the way you look at it as is two components from a validator set. So in my validator set, we then have, so here's my validator. I'm going to have a block producer. And so this one is just making blocks. And this is the very typical, you know, validator set of block production. But then you can have smaller validators, which are just chunk producers. And what their job is, is, a, is all they have to do is just making sure that the chunks are being actually signed and collected, and the transactions are then being added to the chunks. So I have, so here we go. So here's my transaction. Which leads into my chunk, which then goes in to my block. And that entire process is the sharding component. And so now I can have you know, many more chunk validators, which allow the network to be more decentralized, but also start to scale more efficiently because these chunk validators have lower requirements. So they need, you know, so it's like less RAM, lower CPU. The chunk producer starts to allow many different users to actually run their own validator and start to decentralize the network.